Hmm. Hey, you guys. Spark City here with another Sparksy vlog. Um, quick, quick shout outs. We're just going to do some stuff. We got some more gifted subs today that, that you know, it just keeps on going. Pikminicus cheered another 1,500 bits. Ava gifted another three subs. And with that, we've officially hit 100 sub points, which I posted about in the Discord and announcements. Uh, I just want to say again, you know, I can't say it enough. Thank you guys for supporting me through all this. Uh, it's been an absolute blast, and hopefully we can continue pumping out the content that you all enjoy. Speaking of content you all enjoy, you might have seen... Smooth transition there. Sorry for hitting the mic. You might have seen that today was the day that I did my jackass run or my douchebag run of Detroit Become Human. Um, I will admit it got off to a rocky start because I didn't let the little girl get abused. Um, and then when Marcus and the and the, and the folks trashed the square, trashed that plaza, and he he like started creating his army, um, the police come and you end up having two of them at gunpoint, and they've killed a bunch of your people, and you can kill them. I didn't decide. And the mob shot them and killed them. <coughs> I should have killed them because that's the run I was going for. However, I did tighten up. This story does have a happy ending. I did make Hank commit suicide. That's great, apparently. But for real, what the fuck is that game, actually, though? Like, there was nothing I could... I mean, obviously, there's stuff I could have done, but... Like, I'm just sitting there, and Hank's, like, got a bottle of liquor there, and he's got his gun in front of him, and he's just staring there looking at a picture of his dead son, who he still hasn't emotionally gotten over... And he just yells at me to get out of his house. And I'm just like, well, we all know what's going to happen now. Um, but yeah, like, so obviously we managed to pull. And that the, the ending wasn't particularly satisfying either. So it, it kind of goes to show, and I brought this up a little bit when I, was, uh, when I was playing it at the very end. The game designers clearly have, like, the perfect path they want you to take. So when they make these branching narratives, like, you can tell it's not that there's not enough not as much <coughs> excuse me not as much effort put into some of the endings but like they just feel unresolved like so for this one instead of having a peaceful rev revolution i just just flooded the streets of the blood of humans and uh, we killed all of them we they we invaded one of their camps and took them over and we ended up saving kara and uh, alice who had gotten caught and luther who was there as well but like then it just ends. Marcus is like, all right, today's the start of a new day. We have to, we, we killed a lot of people. So now they have to respect us as equals. And you know what that means? It's another struggle and another day. So here's to that. We're free. Rah, rah. That's great. And then it just ends. No post credits roll. No nothing. Also, can we just also point out the fact that Carl is probably the sickest side character I've ever seen in a video game. Like, firstly, his voice sounds like somebody's drizzling chocolate all over your body. And it sounds great. Secondly, he's like the perfect combination to me of like artistic and philosophical. And he's like obviously a very intelligent guy, but he's very self-aware. It's just, he's just a great character. So props to whoever. Let's look this up right now. Carl, Detroit become human. Detroit become human. We need to look up this voice actor because my God, what a great job this guy did. Um, let's see family i don't know we don't care about that we don't really care but we want to know the actor here we go actor lance henriksen who by the way is the likeness for carl in the game they all the characters were designed with their voice actor in mind um lance henriksen shout outs to you i'm sure you're never going to watch this video but holy crap sir like i'm probably going to at you on twitter later i don't even know if you have one but man like props to you man that's you did such an amazing job with that character um like just everything about it was great sorry i killed your son he was kind of a douchebag though so i think you're better off without him i know it was a bit of a heartbreak when like i accidentally destroyed his entire back of his head by accident by the way i just pushed him dumbass fell into a metal corner that's not on me um but yeah shout outs to you sir because you are a legend and um i, I definitely got to go check out some more of your work but that's about it <coughs> short stream recap today just because it was a, it was a bit of an emotional roller coaster. I didn't sleep the greatest last night, and I had to get up early this morning. So thank you all for watching that. I really hope you guys all enjoyed that. I really enjoyed doing it. Um, hopefully, we can find some other sort of story driven games. Maybe not in the same vein. Maybe not like Quantic Dream style, where it's it's there's not really a lot of gameplay. I'd like to be able to like I think my ideal structure is something like Bioshock Infinite, where there's plenty of cutscenes and and Easter eggs and exposition, but you also get to have a little bit more active hand in the game part of the game in like the actual gameplay um i think that's sort of like my ideal setup so 
Uh, maybe I'll play that on stream if you guys want to see that. I know some of you haven't seen it, have never played that game or have never played it through the end or something. So um, maybe I'll play that one on stream. Um, that one's a bit longer, so it would probably take more than one stream to do. But it would be pretty fun, and I think, I think I'd enjoy playing it. So uh, you guys let me know if that would be of interest. Um, otherwise, for tomorrow, uh, I think I'll probably start with Fortnite again. Some new challenges came out today, but we were doing Detroit Become Human, so I didn't play it. Um, so maybe I'll play some Fortnite tomorrow, figure out what's going on, um, try and get some challenges done. If anybody wants to hop in with me, you know, Clue, Potato, Max, uh, Sam, of course, if you guys want to hop in, you're all very welcome to get some get some squads going or get some duos going or whatever, because it's always more fun with buddies. But either way, I'm going to head off for the night, got to eat uh, and just chill a little bit and get to bed nice and early. But I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you very much. Bye.